today. We're going to do a follow-up lesson to that day one lesson, um, which will take you through a number of days, several weeks, maybe even a month, okay? You should have good control over your basic claw hammer stroke now, and you should be able to alternate it. You're not messing this rhythm up. This rhythm sounds nice and smooth, okay? Do it on your second and third string as well. You just feel good with it, okay? If you feel like you feel good there, then you're ready for this. Um, and you've done this a little bit too, where you feel confident as to where the strings are. Alright? So we're going to do two things here. Number one is we're going to take out the brush sometimes. And why you're going to want to do that is because you're going to be playing these songs and your melody, you're gonna to wanna to hit a lot of those melody notes and you're gonna remove the brush and add in melody notes, okay? It doesn't mean you'll never brush, you're gonna brush as well. And if you want to sing and play chords, uh, you know, through the verses and then play some kind of instrumental break, that works great for that as well. So you want to be able to have control over this brush, all right? So, we're going to remove it, but still keep the same rhythm. So, here we go. Same rhythm. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. So, how we do that, look at my right hand. It's not changing, okay? The only thing I'm doing is I'm just removing my fingers a little bit off of the strings. That's all I'm doing there. So, that I'm not hitting that. So, what you want to do here is just root that thumb and you're going to hit your third string then you're going to bring that thumb home and then just pop it off like you normally would and bringing that thumb home there sort of replaces that brush so just work on that third and fourth string, your second and third string, and work through going all the way down again. And back up. And then add it back in. Let's work through those exercises, okay? So that's number one. Number two is we're going to start adding some double thumb. A double thumbing rhythm is very nice, and you'll see that here in just a second. And um, it may be a challenge for you, but it all centers upon grounding that thumb in the home position. If you haven't got that yet, you need to back up, okay? Because that's going to help you with your double thumbing, okay? So... We take our basic claw hammer stroke, our one, two, and three, four, and, and we're gonna turn it into one and two and three and four and, okay? So listen to this. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. So it all happens in, with that thumb, okay? We're sti we still have that same rhythm going. But we're just bringing that thumb. That thumb's already there, we're just sounding it, okay? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Now let's leave it out on the on the uh, second time through. So we'll do one and two. Yeah. So we'll do one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three. If you put
put some speed behind it. Okay, so I want you to work through these things. It's going to take you time. Don't think you're going to be doing this real fast, um, but take your time with this and get these things down. Your right hand is key here in this style of play. So get rid of that brush first. And be able to put it back in. You know, don't just get rid of it for good. Then start adding that double thumb in. that out too loud and you'll see how I my thumb just always goes home whether I ring it out or not I'd like to invite you to head on over to banjo and check that out I've got over 200 claw hammer banjo lessons a beginner claw hammer course as well as uh, the tabs for these exercises that we learned today over there. So head on over there and check that out. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, got something out of it. And before I go, I always want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.